What's going on guys? Welcome back to the 2024 Auburn Open here in Auburn, California. Then we got round two coverage, front nine here coming at you. I am Spinky Edwards. I'm here with my good buddy Dan Turner. Dan What's up, y'all? Double N Turner. That's what they call me. And we're gonna watch some uh we're gonna watch this lead card attack this uh front nine of mm -hmm. Auburn Disc Golf Course. We got Matt Bell uh, leading the way here after round one. He shot the hot round 12 down. It was pretty fun to watch. Definitely. Jake Brown, right? Nine under, I believe. Yeah, he's in the mix. Shot 10.50 first round. San Clemente, that's cool. Josh Anton coming out of Alberta, which is basically Sacramento area. We're about 45 minutes north of Sacramento here. If you're not from the area, you don't know. Here's Raven Newsome, 10-15 rated guy. Another touring pro. Excited to watch him throw this cool course. Um, he shot a eight down the first round as well. Yeah, so we got 12, 9, 8, 8 on our lead card. And then a couple close scores, though, so that a lot could happen on that chase card. Or, you know, even, even third card. Welcome to round two of the 2024 Auburn Open Crown Jewel of the California North Cal Series. Coming up first on the tee pad at 12 under, Matt Bell. That would be cool to see back to back 12 unders. Who doesn't want a little redemption, right? Yeah, absolutely. All right, he's going with the roller. This one's a little bit tighter on the left side, but it's working back right. Yeah, he's just going to have an approach. Coming for in the in three, second place at yeah. nine under, Jake Brown. So, Jake Brown out of San Clemente, right? Yeah, it looks like he's Team Inova sponsor player. That's pretty cool. I did not know that about Jake. Good for him. I know last year he was touring a lot with uh, his buddy Parker. Um, looks like he's reaching forehand here. How's the disc golf in uh, San Clemente, if any? <laughs> I mean, I'm thinking California. I'm thinking they're, they're golfing, my friend. Third place at eight under, Josh Anton. Here's Anton going the tight right side roller. I don't know there's a path for me. Perfect. Rounding out the lead card. Also tied for third place at eight under. Raven Newsom. Here's Raven Newsom, team MVP guy. Also reaching forehand here on number one. So we'll chop with something pretty overstable. Oh, got kind of wrecked by that branch. Definitely Oops. not the desired result. Definitely would like to see that one finish. Looks like he navigated that approach quite handily, though. Here's Bell's look. He's he's probably running this. No, he's just getting up there and sliding it in. Okay. That that's super low ceiling with that branch in the way. A hanger. Jake Brown wants nothing to do with it. Didn't look like it, did it? I mean, it's the first hole. You got 17 more, right? Just play right. it safe, take your far. Oh, <laughs> Anton, Ain't... on the other hand, <laughs> yeah, he's. I think we're gonna see a lot of runs from him. Yeah, he he's of the he's of the attitude. Always make it. Always make it. Thank I love you. it. Thank you, Andre. I can't wait. <laughs> Clean up here. As I was saying before, this course is about two and a half hours of northeast of San Francisco and about two hours west of where we are in Lake Tahoe right now, uh, giving you guys this coverage. Here's hole two, 350. Matt Bell going Spike Heiser again. I think it's likely we'll see pretty much all the guys go over yeah. the top. 
It sounds like his might have came up left and landed out of bounds, actually. Not really familiar with Jake Brown's power. I'm excited to see if he's clearly clearly enough to go over the top there, but I think that's, like you said, pretty standard for everybody to just try to go over the top on this one. Definitely. I'll go... The first round, they made it all made it look a lot easier than I think it is. I would agree. But, I mean, these guys are players, you know. That's why I'm in the booth and, and they're, uh, they're on the screen. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It is funny to me. Every time I see these shots, I think that they're going far. Oh, okay. I was right. Huh? Too far left. Nailed it. I, I said it looks too far left. And Josh has just got a putter approach here, but... Nice yeah. little trickle right in there. That'll work just fine. Should be an easy up and down. This is Raven's par putt after going out of bounds. You got to believe he's trying to make that. Maybe a little bit of nervy with that creek behind, but it's still it's kind of far behind, right? Yeah, Matt gave that all of everything, and he wasn't too worried about it, and he didn't get punished. Yeah, that's true. This is Jake's drive down here. Oh. oh it can't convert it. Can't steal a birdie. Matt with a pretty routine looking cleanup here for the bogey after taking the out of bounds stroke. Josh cleaning up his par. Raven will tap in the bogey and we'll be on to hole three. excited to see uh, Raven on coverage. I've never seen him a couple of years ago. Uh, but, yeah. Definitely. And, Jake, I feel like you asked about Jake's power. I, I feel like I saw him on the coverage for Goat Hill one time, maybe Central Coast. Oh, and, okay. uh Whenever I think Goat Hill in coverage, I assume the guy bombs, right? If he's on lead card, he's yeah. probably throwing pretty far, Long right? story's better short. <laughs> yeah. He's reaching forehand here for this uh, shorty. This one looks to be right, if you yeah. ask me. Right in the circle maybe a little bit of roll though yeah better than i thought it was going to be so anton anton is going to go right up the gut at it which yeah he saw, did look really easy yeah, actually i feel like matt yeah he's going to throw that he threw the shot yesterday as well I think if you know the course you're fine with throwing this but if you're new to it you're like i'm just going to throw the up and the over and like just like just try and get out of here you know even if you were to get 75 yeah. percent of the way over the top you'd be more excited about yeah matt coming in a little bit hot but he should have uh, just outside the circle look here for his bird raven gonna flick one over the top Oh, boy. Well, he smacked one of those oaks, and it just took off rolling. But I think he's throwing a forehand, but just a, a short up and down. <laughs> he was trying to make that spanky. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. We talked, you know, those uphill looks, though, that's, you know, where you're just, you can be a little more aggressive. Jake had a tricky, tricky footing, tricky lie there. Yeah, on a knee through the trees. A rare miss. <laughs> yeah. He, well, looks like he might have had a kind of a funny angle to work with. Let's see if Josh can get a stroke on the card here. It's a little bit of a slow start for Bell, but I'm not too worried about him cleaning it up as the round goes on. Yeah. Well, one one's a tough birdie, and, and I know the first round they made two look easy, but two two isn't that easy, and three I think all these guys are like I want to get this like pretty bad, you know. Yeah, and we had, well we saw some kind of bad rollaways for sure from this card, mm -hmm. so. All right, well, hole four, par three, uh, 358. These guys are shooting through these trees out into that sunshine and then across the the uh, walking path. Just like that. <laughs> All right. maybe, maybe a little buried in those trees, but he's gonna have a he's gonna have some sort of a look. All right, 
Jake's lining up beforehand. I like this. Gets a skip. Oh, big skip. Oh. Pretty effortless, but... Uh, no, that was, that that was smooth, because you got to go low and you want to get a skip. That was going right to the hoop if it just skips over that, yeah, I agree. that path eight inches higher or something. Matt throwing a roller and kind of just hitting there in the middle of the fairway, but shouldn't have too much of an up and down there to get his par. Oh, I like the idea. I'm going to pop something up to flat and let it carry. Just caught that one tree. The path is not out of bounds on this hole. Um, there might be some creek deep, but I don't think it, it comes into play too much. Oh, definitely a run. <laughs> Matt Bell also always make it kind of guy. I love it. Oh, Jake got a little caught up on that twig. Oh, yeah, he was definitely in a good spot there. Yeah, Josh is rolling. It was hard to tell. Well. Yeah, it looked like it could have been a little more stymied by that tree, but it was actually... Yeah, I thought the same. I thought he was a little bit blocked, but... Yeah. All right, let's see here. Get these guys to clean up. Get out of here with a par, not the end of the world. Seems a little disappointed with that one. I don't know. I like how he takes his time for every stroke. I agree. Someone who doesn't take too much time is <laughs> yeah. Mr. Anton here. Well, he's lined up beforehand, and I, I know he's got it, but we won't say he's known for it just because he throws such good backhand shots. Mm -hmm. Probably regretting that one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Two sixty-six up the hill. Pretty techy. There's some gaps though. It's not impossible. It's there. Um, these guys are having some early trouble here. That seems like the common miss though is pulling it a little left because I would imagine hitting early and kicking right is much worse than pulling it a little left and having yeah you know, having an approach shot from the left side doesn't seem as bad as being mm -hmm. just absolutely wrecked on the right side. So yeah i would agree that you can be pretty plugged down there and right and maybe be forced to pitch out from the way it looks right whereas i think if they pull it a little left they're still going to have their approach and maybe take their three and be just fine with that here's a better looking line he's saying stay clean oh i think someone aced it earlier we thought you were about to ace it raven <laughs> yeah Yeah, I'm, I'm thinking what we were just saying is, you know, these guys are just looking for that easy approach. Obviously, they're looking to birdie it, but if, if not, yeah. if not, pretty up and pretty easy up and down. 266, not too far for these guys. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, Auburn, when it's stretched out and it's, and it's kind of a longer uh, setup like it is, I think, for this tournament, it's like... It's, I think it's pretty tough to score. It's there. It's a fair course. But, um, I don't know if you're necessarily racking up bogeys. I see what you're saying. Me, on the other hand, probably quite a few bogeys. <laughs> see one one birdie and three pars little playground back there this is a regional park so even though it's like disc golf only right now for the tournament it can get a little busy sometimes like you know so you'll, sometimes you'll get caught up waiting for you know waiting for walkers to come by Absolutely. and stuff you got to be safe when it's a multi-use park raven throwing roller here this is that par four 600 feet that looked like a good line it combines holes five and six there's Josh's roller. He's still going to be a couple hundred feet out. Yeah, he got a little caught up there. So, I mean, those other guys are obviously playing for birdie, but the roller could get there. Jake's with the forehand. He's just, he's playing it for a, a straight three, which is fine, you know. I don't know if there were any deuces at all on this, uh, this whole all weekend. No, 
nose roller. This thing's got some steam, oh, and yeah. it's headed in the right direction. Oh, wow. Where is it going? Oh, wow. Is that OB log? Yeah, he went past the basket on a 600-foot hole with a roller and crept oh, up into the road. Oh, my goodness. I think good thing for him, he'll, he'll have a, he might be in the circle for his, uh, oh, Josh, his P3, his par, or his birdie putt. Yeah. Ironically enough, Jake throws forehand off the tee, and now he's throwing a second shot roller. <laughs> <laughs> a little unorthodox, huh? I mean, you got to do what you got to do. It is kind of funny how he avoid the roller on the tee, but then end up throwing one anyway, so. This looks good for Josh, and there's a bowl down there. Yeah, left a little meat on it, but... Yeah, 29-footer. He's a good putter. He should be able to clean that up. A good putter? Mm -hmm. I'd say a great putter. He putts lights out. He putts lights out. Well, that's where his forehead roller ended up. Right mm -hmm. Runs his birdie bit down into the circle. There's Matt's disc, just barely over the out-of-bounds line. You see the white whiskers there, oh, so wow. it's an established out-of-bounds line, even though it may look to the contrary. See where? Right over, so... Uh, okay, cool. Yeah. yeah. I'd say anyway, there looks fine to me. Just trying to get there. Get his lie. Yeah. Correct. Let's see if he can clean up this birdie after that great drive and getting a little bit robbed. Yeah, had a boy. Nice. Yeah, only by a couple of feet, huh? That could have been the eagle too. Especially rolling up the hill, you're like, come on, just stop. Like, yeah, you see these big rocks where Anton's standing? Like, mm -hmm. He could have hit any of those and still yeah. somehow found it on his way up that hill. Hole number seven, about 420 feet. Uh, off the tee, you know, you're kind of picking your gap. You can go up and over, or you can go tight and low. Um, it gets really techy late, though. Yeah, there's your up and over mm -hmm. example. Yeah, I like this play by Bell just because, you know, you're going to get 350, you know, 370 feet, 400 feet down the fairway without hitting anything when you're up there, and then you deal with what's at the end of it. Because when you throw Josh's line here, you know, there's a little bit more to hit early. He got, he still got down there, but there's just a little bit more. Yeah, going to give him maybe a more of a difficult approach shot. Coming yeah. From there. This is another one of those holes where not a lot of guys are making birdies. Um, I think we actually had exactly one birdie today uh, during round two. Wow, just the one. Yeah. Who was that? Um, Mason Packheiser. Way to go, Mason. Yeah, he's an Auburn guy, local, 942 rated. I bet he packs a mean hyzer, though. <laughs> I had to, sorry. This is Raven's second shot. Looks like he's just zing one up there to get close. He must have been a little little stymie to be going forehand. Mm -hmm. He didn't seem too far away. Here's Matt's circle to bid for birdie. Yeah, it looked like he had that tree leaning off of that rock kind of forced him into that wide hyzer. Mm -hmm. Well, apparently par is pretty good on this one if there's only one birdie on the day, so. 
<laughs> These guys are gonna be pretty alright with that. Yeah, you're not dropping strokes to folks. Although 420, you know, it's within all these guys' range, so they're like... Absolutely. I want some of that, but... Yeah, you're not totally kicking yourself, I guess. Raven still got the box here. 420 feet uphill. I like the roller play. I don't know if I want to be up in those woods to the right, though. I saw it keep going. Yeah. It, it came back. Maybe circle two, but. I was going to say maybe 60, 70. Yeah. I just think if you get too far into the right there, that. There's a lot more stuff to hit, so you want to leave it out left and let it come back right late. There's a Mando up there, isn't there? Is that the Mando straight in front of us? That's a good point. This is the one that Proctor made and Proctor then missed turned. yesterday, yeah, right? That's where you want to hit. Yeah, he, yeah. he rolled past oh, it and then yeah. rolled back. And somehow yeah. turned around and, and technically had missed the Mando. See Anton bringing roller as well. I mean, I stand corrected, I guess. These guys are all trying to tuck them into the right pretty far. I think it probably to just absolutely okay. avoid that Mando. Yeah, you're for sure right. And then maybe the way it's coming up the hill, it'll actually end up moving more towards the basket. Jake just throwing a pure air shot. I like that play personally, but if you got the roar, then you might as well, you know, try to get the extra distance up the hill. Looks like Josh isn't really sure how he wants to approach this one. He's like, should I throw a forehand roller in there? Should I just zoom a putter through? Looks like he's reaching for maybe a... Yeah, it looks like a fairway driver just to forehand roll it. A little roller roller action. Super aggressive. Let's see here. Keep flipping. Oh, yeah. Wow. Right to the hoop. The people love it. That is a heck of a shot. I love it. This is where Josh, or Jake's air shot. You got him to circle two. He's he's bidding that. He's running it. So air shot's not completely out of the question for this hole. Interesting to see so many guys go with the uh, go with the roller when the air shot really clearly good. works pretty well. Yeah, I'm not sure if you would like. Got full distance on that or what, but it seemed like not bad. But then we saw yesterday, you know, Matt went past it with his roller. So it's like this maybe you're just going to get more body looks. If you if you got the roller, you should probably throw it, maybe. Yeah. Okay, kind of a funky lie there on the outcropped rocks. Oh, and it's going to cost him. That one is, will not be on his highlight reel. Josh cleans up the easy three Yeah, pretty different, uh, pretty different round today for Bell compared to yesterday. Hopefully he can get yeah. things going on. You know, hopefully he can get things going on the back nine. But currently he's just, you know, even through eight. So. Yeah, that's a good point. Actually, he's going to be one, one over through eight. Yeah, definitely not what he's expecting today, but he's still got a stroke lead over uh, Josh at this point and two strokes over the rest of the card, but definitely the field is looking a little bit closer so far. Hole number nine, downhill, 386. I Being downhill, it I would say plays less than that. I, up, Josh? Oh, Josh oh, wow. almost getting smoked by a rogue disc. Is he lining up a roller here? Maybe just a turnover shot. But the way his, where he's lining up from. Yeah, it looks like just the turnover. Yeah, fairway driver of sorts. A lot of guys that are right-handed are reaching for the forehand, definitely. Yeah, it's, it seems like a surprise to see that 
that backhand turnover play. Because even if I feel like even if you have a mediocre forehand for these guys, it's still going to get right yeah. right into that little pocket. Yeah. Jake getting about pin high, but he's left with closer to 50 feet, maybe. Let's see if Matt can get back on track here after that bogey. A little bit of a slide there. Looks pretty good. Oh, short. Oh. Well, it was short until it rolled all the way to the basket. Yeah, that was some nice ground play. He's in the circle for Bird. Jake with a little stepper. Wow. Ooh, count it from 50. Great step putt. Anton, downhill putt. Looks a little scary behind it. Luckily, he doesn't have to worry about that. That was a really good bid. Yeah. There's water back there, isn't there? Definitely. Great putt. Raven, that forehand play, making it look pretty simple there. Yeah, no doubt. Bell's got a little straddle putt, but he's close enough. I would expect him to be making this fair bit. Oh. Okay. In the basket's good, Spanky. That's very good. Yeah, Bell's putt there. I mean, downhill, he put it a little bit high, but, you know, the hole before, remember, he caged his par putt. Yeah. So this one, he's like, I'm getting it over the rim. And he did just that. Good putt. Nice correction. All right. After nine holes, looks like Proctor with a hot round, five down on the front, creeping back up the leaderboard. Yeah, Matt Bell staying right where he's at at 12 under, but uh, still maintaining a two-stroke lead over everybody else, so... Uh, yeah. yeah, it's second through seventh place only, or second through sixth place, excuse me, is only two strokes. So pretty bunched up near the top. Um, a lot of familiar names on this list. Austin Turner in the mix now on the leaderboard, another touring pro. Um, I can't wait to see what these guys do in the back nine. Yeah, we'll check it out. We'll see you guys then.